Hey man, what it is? This is Dean and I am your host and this is By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Dean By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean By Any Means. Y'all know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you send a 50 cent, a dollar, $200, a thousand dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated. Everybody who shows support, y'all. I want to talk about why black men are so scared to be masculine now, Dave's. You got Yasim Bey, a.k.a. Most Def, somebody I used to really look up to, somebody I used to really love his music and his message that he was putting out there, most importantly. But everything that he's been doing as far as him boohoo crying for other countries and not, I've never heard him talk about the crime and all the gangs and things that's going on in Brooklyn, New York. I've never seen him cry about that. Um, I have an issue with that. I never... I, um, being one of the more guys back in the day talking about how much um, us as a people aren't further and what they're trying to do to us as men. And then you fall in line, Mr. Most Deaf, right with it. Because you never would have dressed like this, putting on skirts and them big fisherman boots that you got on, whatever, looking looking like you got tights on, like looking very soft and feminine. You never would have did this in the 90s when you was out there making music. You know why? Because it wasn't accepted. And it's, this shows me that y'all willing to go along to get along and do anything that you will be accepted. So maybe this is really who you were the whole time, but you just knew in your era that you couldn't do it or your career was over. But now where things are more relaxed and more acceptable, you get to be who you really are. Because I'm I, like, I understand people talking about this in the agenda and all that. Yeah, but they still got to make the decision to do these things. And it's all for the check. So maybe because we ain't seeing most deaf in, in movies no more and we ain't hearing from his music, that maybe he has to find another way to garnish attention. You know, similar things to what Tyrese is out here doing. Then you got Playboy Cardi out here wearing thongs. And this is the stuff that y'all listen to. This is the people we follow. This is the people we listen to. This is the people we emerge our ears and our brains into. And, it's, and just look at it. Playboy Cardi out here wearing whole thongs and, 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 and did it on purpose. He wanted the paparazzi to see him. He wanted That's why he wore two pair of pants and then so you could see the thong. This is what he wanted. He wanted this to be talked about. He wanted it to be okay because somebody told him or gave him benefits to push black men being less masculine. My grandfather would never. You can't tell me you are a masculine man and you out there wearing the thong. You can't tell me you a real man and you out there wearing a the thong and they have made us feel so bad about us being straight men that they 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 have bullied us. The LGBT community, I mean, it's, it's been crazy. They have bullied us into, if you don't accept this, you're wrong. You're a hater. You're toxic. But we say, what about us as straight men? What about us? We don't have, we can't have our agenda. Because at least ours is connected to God, though. You know it takes a straight man and a woman to have a baby to recreate. So you can never, we're not saying that you want to do whatever you want to do. That's cool. But don't try to make us wrong because we don't agree with it. When what we are doing is the essence of what life actually is. And I'm getting tired of these 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 agendas and trying to make and trying to trying to bully us as men, especially black men, to be less masculine. So we can go ahead and feminize the next generation and have other black men talking about they don't know what gender they are and, and, and they feel like a woman inside. It's not cool, man. It's not cool, especially for men that said that they aren't like this. So then it's different if you came out um, like Little Nas X. I have no problem with you because at least Little Nas X hasn't lied about it. He has been honest and open about who he is and what he's doing and what he's promoting. I can't get mad at a man after that. I get mad at guys who try to play both sides of the fence. That's why I get mad at guys that's on a down low. I'm not mad at a person that's homosexual. I'm mad at a person that's trying to act like he's not homosexual. That's the problem I have because that's dangerous. That's leaving room for people to not be honest with themselves, not be honest with the public, not be honest with the people around them. You can't live a double life. You can't be most deaf talking about pro-black stuff and you out here wearing skirts when you know that part, even if you like this skirt, let's say if you love the fashion, you liked it, that's no problem. But you know that in certain situations, you can't wear it is because you know what it would be perceived as. And you can't say as a black man, you don't care about perceptions because we get killed for our perceptions. 
We get killed if we got a, a hoodie on walking down the street at nighttime minding our business. So don't tell me that perception doesn't mean nothing or Trayvon Martin will still be here if it didn't mean anything. Y'all got to understand what games is going on out here. Why was the paparazzi right outside of the studio? They was quick to take a picture and they zoomed in on Playboy Cardi wearing the thong. How do you explain that to us masculine men? Not how do you explain that to the LGBT community? They understand that already. How do you explain that to us and then think that you're going to be over here promoting whatever you're trying to promote to our kids that aren't LGBT? That's the problem that I have. Be honest about what you are, who you are, and what you are promoting. Don't try to play both sides of the fence and then try to, and then get mad at people like me for calling it out and saying that it's an agenda. It has to be. Because you know how you know it's an agenda? Because you don't see nobody outwardly pushing being straight. If you want to push one thing, push the other, though. If you want to push the color red, can you at least be objective to the color blue? That's all I'm saying. But people like me, they will say that we have toxic masculinity. So I shouldn't be proud, prideful that I'm a man. I shouldn't be prideful that I love women. I shouldn't be I shouldn't be prideful that I don't think that it's okay for a man to be uh, wearing women's clothing and things like that. I'm wrong for that. And anybody who says I'm wrong for that, you are proving my point that you are allowed to have an opinion. You are allowed to feel a type of way. You are allowed to do whatever it is you choose to do, but I'm not allowed to do it. I'm not allowed to say I don't agree with that. I'm not allowed to say I don't want my son seeing that. I'm wrong for saying that. I'm not allowed for saying I don't want my daughter to date somebody like that. Most dev disappoint me because I know he knows better. I know Yasim Bey knows better. Just listen to his music and his content. So don't tell me he's unaware, but you still did it anyway. And don't tell me that you just, well, we like the way we, we like the way this looks and, 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 and how and, and how it lays on us. Well, skirts and things like that been out for a long time, Yasim Bey, and I never seen you in one of those before or prior ever. Playboy Cardi thongs been out. Why you wasn't wearing those when you first came in the rap game? You wasn't you wasn't promoting that. You was talking like you would shoot them up, bang bang. You're super hard. You had super hardcore music. That's how you got perceived to the public. So don't tell me this is something you enjoy and something you like because it ain't nothing you started as. You didn't start in the game doing that. Be consistent. At least be consistent on what your message is and who you are. Nas, the rapper, has been consistent the whole time since that he started rapping. Nas hasn't changed his message the whole time he started rapping. He hasn't changed the way he dresses. Do he wear different clothing brands? Yeah, it's 2000. And he not wearing big, big corn heart jackets no more like we was back in the 90s in the um, Queensbridge projects. But he also still was always known as the fly guy, being fly, fabulous. He don't wear big jerseys no more, but then he was known as the fly guy. Now, trends and things like that have changed, but he's still known as the fly guy today. Be consistent. Jada Kiss, why he could say that he top five dead or alive and you don't hear people argue against it all the time is because he has been consistent for 30 years. That's all I'm asking. Because us as straight men, we don't have we don't have room to not be consistent. I can't push all this message, y'all, and say that I don't agree with that. And then the next day you see me in a most deaf outfit. That's why I'm holding him accountable, because I know what Yasim Bey knows better, because I've listened to his music. I've grew up watching him. I've never seen him do anything like that. Where did that come from? Is that OK? If you wanted to make it be okay, cool. But then don't try to act like you understand the message that you've been promoting for the last 20, 30 years. You clearly don't because you're going along with the agenda. The same problem I had with Dave Chappelle going at it with Cat Williams when everything that Cat Williams has said, you said prior, Dave. You said prior. You was talking about how they want to put men in dresses and then Cat Williams say something about men being in dresses. You say he's attacking comedians. You got to pick a side and stay there. All this flip flopping back and forth like a fish out of water is wrong, man. Whatever your message is, I just ask you to be consistent on your message. I'm not saying people don't grow and people don't change, but you don't flip that much. You can't go from one side of the coin to the other. Quarters have gotten more modern day 
from when how they looked in the 1920s. But the part that has, that stayed the same about a quarter is that it had a heads and a tails. That part hasn't changed. The message in it hasn't changed. What it was worth hasn't changed. It's always been worth 25 cents. Now, what 25 cent can get you nowadays is different than what it could have got you then, but that's not the quarter problem. So most deaf, don't try to act like you one of us and you understand a black agenda and you understand what they're trying to do to us as a people, but you out there doing it. Playboy Cardi, don't talk about all the women you got and, and everything you out here trying to do when you sitting up here wearing thongs because we love Prince and we know Prince got women, but at least Prince was consistent. He came out dressing the way he dressed. He came out making the music that he made. He never changed up. Even as times went along, has he grown and got better in his persona and made adjustments? Of course, but he didn't change his message. That's why we liked him. That's why we like Michael Jackson. So y'all know what this is, man. Deem by any means. They want our children's minds. They want our babies' minds, dog. They want them to think that everything is okay that we didn't accept. There's a reason we have laws. There's a reason that certain things weren't accepted. There's a reason why certain things was what we was. See, the thing is, we want to be so modern and day that we try to crap on everything that was old school. Everything in the old school wasn't wrong. Everything that they taught us in the old school was not wrong. So y'all know what this is, man. Ding. By. Any. Means. There go to PayPal at Dean by any means. There go to Cash App dollar sign Dean by any means. And I truly appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day.